I was very close. I almost pressed the um, the uh, the wrong hotkey to start the video, and then I would have been very sad. Not gonna lie, like extremely sad, because um, I would have had to do this all over again. <laughs> okay, where was I going? Here. Did I seriously not go through this door yet? Oh yeah, now I remember. It's the door where you have to find literally every single cube in the entire game. Forgot about that. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be great. Well, let's find every cube then. Simple. This is something else entirely. I see. A different branch of reality. So I basically completed this bit. Sort of. And I should go back here. Or something like that. Oh boy, we're getting into the wacky bits. Here. I should probably do this. Again. And that's totally not just because I want to hear the jamming bits one more time. Okay. You can't say that. Because you'd be wrong. Well, it's not really, but you know. That's the seizure room, and uh, I'm hoping this takes me back to the hub. The hub? <coughs> I'm not hearing any music, and it's kind of sad, but, you know, I think we'll survive with just ocean noises. We're just going to have a nice ocean noise. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to have to, like, talk more or something. <laughs> um, I do wonder though what the secret here could be I guess what these huh Yeah, I would assume this would be the secret, but it doesn't help that there isn't much to do with it, so I don't know entirely. Perhaps there's just something else down here I haven't done yet. Hmm. Anyways, let's just go up here for now. For now. Oh, I have to go back into the water, of course, to jump onto the ladder, of course, so that I can, um, do things. So, I don't know if I've actually encountered this particular predicament where I have an area, you know, maybe it's the top of the lighthouse? But no, that should lead me here. And it's not overly difficult to get to, either. Or so I say. Well, I hold on there. No, I haven't been through the top of the lighthouse yet. Have I? No, it should lead me in here. There are, in fact, other doors in this entire area. I need to go through the lighthouse anyways so that I can... Oh, cool. Forgot that that was a thing. In here, where the doors inside can also lead to other places inside. Shoot! Crap. The weight... Darn. Oh, oh boy. Regardless, it's uh, just kind of interesting, I guess. What else could even be here? I do wonder. And I suppose... What? Is there something in here? That'd be funny. I'm at the highest point! You bring me closer to God. Anyways. Huh. 
I have reverted all the way back to my original handcrafter video where I just sing because I'm a small child. TBH, I was in fact a small child. <laughs> so you cannot fault me. Hey look, a door. Boy am I glad that didn't kill me because it would have been really awkward if it did. So let's talk about what I've been doing. Oh boy. Oh hey, this one doesn't follow my every move. Yet. What was the... God, what was the... Did I not jump onto this one? Huh. I'm trying to remember what the... Uh... It's quiet now. Oh, because I was behind it. That's interesting. When you end up behind something, the sound dampens. Alright. I don't remember what the owl code was. I just... Let's find out. Well, actually, did I ever figure out what the owl code was? Oh, no. This is a complete room. Huh. Where is that other owl room? I want to say it's not through here. I still haven't gone to either of these places. We should probably go through the doors. <laughs> Maybe that would be a good idea. Here. Right through here. That's what I haven't figured out yet. But maybe this helps me there. Now that the owl is not following my every move. Interesting. I feel like that would be a bit simplistic of a puzzle, that you just have to find the other owl, and then it stops following you with its eyes. But, I mean, maybe that isn't really all that simplistic of a puzzle. I think this is a hub, so I'm going to leave like this part for a bit later. It's probably just... Oh no, there's a locked door. So I have to find a key. Do I have a key? No. So that in mind, let's go back to... Well, I do want to find out more about the owl area. So let's what, head to the rainy day area. Also, I can probably get through here now. So... Now that I've said so, like 11 million times, I am free to head back to the hub area. Everybody's favorite area. Everyone's. Everybody agrees. It's the best area. Um, and my phone has been on for a while, for whatever reason. You know, that's interesting. We haven't seen a black hole today yet. So it's nice. So it's nice to see another deadly object. I gotta say, I have been missing them. <laughs> Beyond that, uh, let's see which one of these will take us where we want to go. Actually, this is probably the easiest area to find <laughs> through the the warp block. It's, it's, you, you only see the sky. If you don't remember what color the sky is, you're gonna have to go through it more than once, and you get to watch a loading screen more than once. So that in mind, I do like that I know exactly which one it is based on the fact that it's raining cats and dogs and, like, other names that I could say. It's, it's raining cock and balls. <laughs> I'm such a funny man. Are there any doors here? Evidently not. We're going downward. Okay, and that is not... Okay, cool, I've just missed the door. Not really. Not entirely. Owl room, here we go. You're not going to look at me anymore, are you? I sure hope not. And it is, of course. So, what's the dealio here? 
Do I have to uh, go down here? You know, you'd think that that room with the owl in it would help out with the uh, puzzle here. But uh, instead, okay, please. It's because there's a freaking. Yeah, no clue. Okay, well. There go my plans for the evening. And now we have to platform. Dang it! can't believe I have to platform in a puzzle platforming game. Not cool. Not appreciated, I must say. Um, I want to die. I guess it wouldn't even be really that hard to die in this game, as we have noted. We have determined through experimental uh, experimentation and data collection that uh, it is not difficult at all to uh, fall to an autonomy demise in this game, and therefore um, you could you could say that it is quite simple, in fact, to die should you decide to. It is a simple matter of jumping off one of these very many floating islands. Hey look, platform. I gotta say, boy am I glad that my uh, computer graphics can handle pixelated rain. Because otherwise, I would be screwed very hard. Okay, where... Oh, I see. Okay, so I just came up here for no reason. Uh, back down I go. I do kind of also like the music in this area, just a little bit, just a little bit. It's pretty good. Let's find the labyrinth area. Hey look, a team. I also, I just remember that this is the, oh, dang it, I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. This is the, this is the area that like sucks to navigate. Where does this take me? Yeah, whatever. Let's find out. Just... Oh, I think I did already do that. I... Part of me likes that there are... Okay, that is convenient. Okay, maybe not. Anyways. That is also a banger. Okay, okay. Never mind. We've, we've gone away from the bangers. And this is what I mean. It, at least it has the... Okay. At least it has the decency to be tall enough to kill me. Like, boy am I glad I can just die from doing that. Wait, am I an idiot? It's fully possible that I am, and I just hadn't noticed yet. Oh boy, am I glad that it just straight up kills me. Yes, I am. Uh, where exactly? There we go. Okay, I thought that I would be high enough to get me to the next platform. Evidently, I was wrong, and I... Uh, was very instantly punished for my misassumption. This should... okay. Or not. How many wrong doors can I go through? That's gonna be this episode. Jesus. There are, there are a, like, very small handful of doors to even go through. I've found three out of four, and they're all wrong. No, this is all wrong. Okay, let's see if there's anything right here. Hey, okay, never mind. I was about to say, hey, look, a door! And I uh, would have felt like a big stupid idiot because there isn't one. Watch it! Okay, cool. Who'd have thunk it that the big labyrinth shaped room would be in the tomb. 
it's literally probably the point. Okay, so let's just let's just make one thing straight. All right, I very vastly just completely misunderstood how to how to do this puzzle just entirely. So yeah, you can you can watch me running around. Like this is a this is sped up as much as I can make it in in my editor. And it's still a couple minutes long. It's like a two minute long segment of me running around. This was originally a twenty seven minute episode. You're welcome that it's only like twenty two now. I probably could have done this with um some of the some of the door finding earlier. You know how I am. So yeah, anyways. Apparently, um, we learn how to count today in in PES. So, I was correct in the assumption in the assumption that counting is um, a clockwise operation. Basically, there are four initial directions, right? Four cardinal directions are, at a, are uh, one, two, three, and four, and it goes uh, north from starting at north. You go clockwise, and it's one, two, three, and four. And then you can add them together to make more. So when there's the L shape in the bottom left map, that's a three. And the direction pointing to the very left is a four. And I mixed those two up because I figured that the more complex ones would be later. But, you know, whatever. So that should be one, two, one, two, one. This is very fun, alright? Anybody who thinks that it isn't is wrong. And then this one, which should take me to the fourth side anyways, where I can go through. This one. And I have no idea what I'm doing. This is very fun. I hope you know I'm having a very good time making a 20 minute Fez video where half of it is me running through doors and I'm definitely not just going to you know what I'm gonna look at how to count in Fez because the counting cube okay hold on oh my gosh yeah, I was just doing it wrong. Alright. So, counting cube is whack. There are multiple ways of thinking about it. For one, this is the counting cube. That's one. That's four. So that's... That's five. And that's... Okay. Zero, one... This one's like freaking Jesus. <laughs> this one's six. Why am I looking at these? Five, six, one. Jesus. Why is it like this? This that's ten. It's a six-sided cube. You couldn't just give me the one through six. Jeez. Anyways. So this is one, this is four, this is three, this is two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. I really hope this takes me to the right place. Um, Okay, going well so far. I think that was the wrong choice. One, two, three, four. No, that was the right choice. I just have to shift over to this one. I really want this to work out well. Because I honestly, I don't entirely know if this is... Oh! Oh! 
I can feel it. I can feel the cosmos. Okay, and? It's just a uh, four. I really like looking at the tree limbs right here. Okay, I can go into this water. That's that's good. Can I get out of the water though? I don't know if I can jump high enough to get out of the water here. Okay, I can. Or not. Maybe the answer is no. Okay. Ooh, a key. It's not a key. It's just a skull. That's Pog. I have found an ancient artifact. So the legends were true. They did come here. Alright, yeah, thanks, dude. I did it, guys. I found a skull. Now I can make another Kingdom of the Crystal Skull joke in the thumbnail. That's right. I'm just going to make the same thumbnail again, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Uh, yeah. That's it, guys. That's the entire episode. I just went, I, I ran around in this labyrinth for mm, a while, and then I figured out how to count. Learning to count, fellas. It really helps. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I will remove your ability to count to ten. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.